Uh, what's going on there guys? Uh, welcome to my complete annual Blu-ray collection video as I will sit here and showcase all you guys my entire Blu-ray collection here. Uh, now this is going to be part one of my entire Blu-ray collection. I divide this uh, Blu-ray collection video into four to maybe five different videos. Uh, now I am going to go pretty fast on this here guys. I have over 400 Blu-rays in my entire collection. Uh, so I'm going to have no time to share with you guys a story about all these movies I have here. So it's going to be a rapid-fire session uh, going through all these Blu-rays here. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I uh, hope you uh, got some popcorn and a delicious beverage. And, um, well, we're going to have some fun here, all right? So what do you say we get out of here, all right? All right, here we go. You ready? I know I am. Two guns. 21, 2012, 300, this is Sparta, uh, the 40-year-old virgin, the fit, who cares, uh, <laughs> uh, we have 50-50, great movie, uh, 500 Days of Summer, a few good men, one of my all-time favorites, you can't handle the truth, uh, a league of, our, of their own, a Nightmare on Elm Street. A terrible uh, Nightmare on Elm Street with a really cool looking lenticular cover there. A Time to Kill. This movie's a little underrated. Uh, a Walk Among the Tombstones. Another movie I think that's a little underrated. If you guys haven't checked this out, I highly recommend it. It's a good thrower. A Walk to Remember. The Age of Adeline. American, uh, or Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Uh, Pretty terrible movie. Uh, you're probably asking why I own this. Uh, I don't know. It's an enjoyable movie to watch every Halloween, uh, but it's definitely way over the top. Uh, the Adjustment Bureau. Air Force One. Get off my plane. My terrible Harrison Ford impression. Uh, Alien, one of the all-time uh, best sci-fi movies. Aliens, one of my all-time favorite movies. All Dogs Go to Heaven, childhood favorite. Along Came a Spider. The Amazing Spider-Man, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yes, they're terrible, but I got to own them. American Hustle. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite movies, too. Um, you know, this movie was getting a lot of crap for, you know, people are saying, oh, you know, it's getting a lot of awards, it's overrated, you know, with the cast and everything, but I, I don't care. I think it's a terrific film. Uh, they captured the time period of this movie very well. Um, you know, if you guys haven't uh, checked this out, I highly recommend. I mean, great, great performance, isn't it? Oh my goodness, American Psycho, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, this movie, I've watched this movie probably dozens of times in my lifetime. You're probably saying, why did you see it? Well, it's, it's entertaining. I, I just love the dark comedy of this movie. Um, Christine, don't just look at it, eat it. Um, I'm trying to think of another good line from this movie. Oh, there's so many good lines in this movie. Uh, oh yeah. I don't use alcohol, but the alcohol drives your skin and makes you age faster. Oh my goodness, I can go so much more talking about this movie, but I've returned some videotapes. Uh, American Sniper, probably the most criticized movie of all time. Uh, Ant-Man. Apollo 13. Houston, we have a problem. Armageddon. Army of Darkness. As good as it gets. One of the best movies of all time. I, this has... This might be one of the best movies uh, as far as great performances. Uh, you know, everybody in this movie was phenomenal, uh, especially Jack Nicholson and uh, Helen Hunt. And it's a movie that just doesn't get really talked about. I uh, highly recommend if you guys haven't seen that. The movie's about 20 years old already. Uh, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Very shagadelic. Uh, Avatar. Uh, the Avengers. Avengers Age of Ultron. The Babadook. Creepy movie. The Back to the Fu uh, Future Trilogy, one of my favorite movie franchises of all time. Batman. Batman Returns. Batman Begins. The Dark Knight, classic. The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Batman and Song Arkham, a movie I would highly recommend you guys to check out. Just a little preview for Suicide Squad. It has, it's kind of similar to uh, Suicide, the story of Suicide Squad. Uh, but it's a really good Batman Batman movie. Uh, Batman the movie. Oh my god, this movie's corny as hell. But it was a fun movie I used to watch. Or the TV show I used to watch a lot as a kid. 
Um, and I just had to own the movie. Uh, Batman Under the Red Hood. Beetlejuice. Still my favorite Michael Keaton movie of all time. Uh, Big. <clears throat> Big Daddy. Oh, one of my favorite comedies of all time. The Big Lebowski. Well, there's a beverage here, man. Uh, I'm the dude, man. Um, oh, I can go on and on with that movie. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. That's freaking interesting. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right, let's move on. Uh, Big Trouble Little China. Probably the worst movie in my entire collection. Biodome. <laughs> I used to watch that movie a lot. I, a kid as uh, with my two brothers, and uh, we used to laugh her behind off, but the movie doesn't hold up as well as it used to. Uh, Birdman. Black Sheep. Black Swan. The Blade Trilogy. Uh, the first one's still my favorite. Second one has a little more action, I think, than the first one does. Third one, not very good, but I don't mind watching it. Uh, the Blind Side. Blood Diamond. Underrated, in my opinion. Uh, double feature of Bloodsport and Time Cop. <coughs> um, I'm not a fan of Time Cop, but I bought this because of Bloodsport. It's one of my favorite uh, movies I used to watch as a kid, and it's the only enjoyable John claude Van Damme movie I like. Uh, the Bone Collector. The Book of Eli. The Boy. Uh, this movie is terrible, <laughs> uh, for sure. But, you know, I got this movie because it looked interesting. It looked like a real good, creepy movie. And uh, I watched this movie for the first, you know, three-fourths of it, and it was decent. I actually was enjoying it, but the thing that threw me off was the ending. And it just, I don't know, it just ruined the movie, in my opinion. Uh, Boyhood. Awesome movie. Uh, it's it's a very long movie, but it's definitely one of the best uh, movies I've seen in a long time. Uh, they, they actually filmed this movie for 12 years, guys. And it's the same kid. Same kid for 12 years they filmed it. That's amazing. Uh, uh, definitely one of my all-time favorite movies, Braveheart. Uh, the Breakfast Club. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one here. Uh, bring it on. Um, uh, I like the movie, guys. That's all I'm going to say. It's just, it's entertaining. Uh, Broken Arrow. Cheesy as hell is that movie. Uh, Brothers. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Birds. Uh, The Capitol Woods. What a terrific looking, uh, the lenticular cover right there. The movie was a lot better than I expected it to be. Uh, Captain America, The First Adventure. Uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier, one of my favorite Marvel movies. Uh, I will be getting Civil War once that comes out in a few months. Uh, the remake of Carrie. Uh, yeah, this is a terrible, terrible movie. Uh, but it definitely was unnecessary, but I don't mind watching it, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I do like Chloe Moretz. I think she's a real good actress, but uh, cool looking look, uh, look take her cover right there. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. <laughs> uh, Casino. And then we have some James Bond films here. We have Casino Royale, my favorite James Bond movie of all time. Uh, Skyfall. Spectre, which was kind of a letdown. Uh, it wasn't terrible, but eh, I think they could improve, it on, uh, improve upon that movie a little bit. Uh, Casper, childhood favorite, love watching that movie on Halloween. Uh, Castaway. Cellular, an underrated movie in my opinion. Chef, that movie will make you hungry. Uh, Child's Play. City Slickers, one of my favorite comedy uh, movies of all time. This is something I don't hear a lot of people talk about. This is a terrific comedy movie. You guys haven't seen that. Uh, I highly recommend it. Excuse me. Hello. My terrible Billy Crystal uh, impression. Uh, the Quiet, underrated movie. Really good. Uh, Collateral, one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies. Commando. One of those movies that's so bad, yet it's so good. Um, remember I told that kid you last? I lied. My terrible Schwarzenegger impression. Uh, Con Air. Oh, my gosh. Probably the most over-the-top action movie I, I've ever seen. Uh, you know, I remember watching this movie the first time, and there's a line in this movie where Nicholas Cage says, uh, right at the end when they have like a big fight scene. And in my opinion, I think it's the best worst line I've ever heard in a movie. He goes, well... It ain't my Tyus and Yahtzee out here, but let's do it. What? <laughs> like, what? oh my gosh. Who came up with that line? Whoever did is a genius. Not really, but <laughs> it's, it's one of the worst lines I've ever heard in a movie. Uh, Congo. 
Contact. Oh, Courageous. Uh, one of my all-time favorites, guys. Uh, this is a movie I highly recommend if uh, you're having a real hard time in life, you're struggling, you know, you really want to turn your life around. Um, I highly recommend you guys check this movie out. It's a really, really good movie. Uh, yeah, it gets overlooked, too. It's, uh, it's a tough movie to watch, but, you know, like I said, if you want to change your life around, I highly recommend that. Uh, that movie had an impact on my life, and it really changed me, too. Uh, Crazy Heart. Crazy Stupid Love. Creature, one of the stupidest movies I've ever seen in my lifetime, but it is entertaining as hell. Um, I highly recommend you guys check it out sometime. It, it's it's a uh, creepy movie. It's based on a book by Peter Benchley. Uh Creed, one of the best movies of 2015. Dante's Peak. Dark Man. The Day After Tomorrow. Deadpool, a uh, big surprise. Uh, I thought this movie was going to be not very good, but I went and saw it. And I left my behind off. It was one of the best movies of 2015. And it will definitely be in my uh, you know, top ten list of 2015 for sure. Uh, love the movie. Ryan Reynolds did a fantastic job. Uh, Deep Blue Sea. Deep Impact. <laughs> Terrible movie. The Departed. One of my uh, five favorite movies of all time. Uh, I'll never forget when I saw the trailer of this movie. I was like, this, there's no way this movie can be bad. Like, I can tell this movie's going to be really good. And it was way beyond good. It's, it's one of the best movies I've ever seen. Uh, the Descent. The Descendants. Despicable Me 1. Despicable Me 2. The Complete Die Hard Collection. I don't have the fifth one because that one doesn't exist. Uh, Disturbia. Divergent, which was surprisingly better than I expected it to be. Insurgent, well, that wasn't really good. Uh, Django Unchained, my favorite uh, Quentin Tarantino film of all time. Dodgeball, Don John, Draft Day, Dragonheart, Drive, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dumb and Dumber, one of my favorite uh, comedies of all time, EDA, The Edge, great movie if you guys haven't checked this out, uh, The Edge of Tomorrow, Edward Scissorhands, Entourage the Movie, The Equalizer, E.T., and the edge. You guys are like, get that finger out of my face. Uh, <laughs> Ex Machina, surprisingly better than I expected it to be. Face Off. Or take his face off. Take a piece for hours. That was terrible. Uh, Fargo. Oh, don't you know. Uh, Fast Five. My favorite of the uh, Fast and Furious uh, uh, franchise. Then you have the original Fast and Furious. Uh, Fast and Furious 6. Furious 7, Father the Bride Part 1 and 2, The Fault in Our Stars, Fear, Fern Gully, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Fight Club, The Fighter, Hey Christian Bill, can I help you? Shoot me out of box. My terrible Mark Wahlberg impression. Uh, <laughs> then we have Flight, and finally, <laughs> Flipper. I used to watch the TV show a lot as a kid. And I had to own the movie. The movie's not great, but I enjoy watching it from time to time. So, all right, guys. So that's the end of uh, part one of my entire Blu-ray collection here. Uh, so I will see you guys in part two, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in part two of my entire Blu-ray collection.